What's going on, Hoop Junkies? Gene Erfian here. It's time for a one-on-one -on -one session with my main man, Mr. Jordan Clarkson. Jordan, first of all, uh, I know it's a long time coming, but welcome to the Philippines, man. Yes, sir, man. Thank you. I'm, I'm happy to be here. Now, uh, growing up, did your um, your mom or your or your grandma talk about what life is like here in the Philippines, and especially uh, when where they're coming from, Pampanga? Right. Um. You know, they just told me it was a, it's a lot different. Uh, you know, than where we live now, and uh, you know, and our family has came a long way from um, you know living here mm -hmm. and um, now living in the states. And you know, I came in here with an open mind and seen a lot of stuff that you know I I really enjoyed and you know really touched me. So I definitely want to come back here every year if I can and um, you know make this an, an annual thing for me. Speaking of things that touched you and some of the things that you saw here. Um you had a clinic in a in a place where let's just say not many tourists would go to, mm -hmm. uh, and you mentioned during that time that you uh, that moved you that touched you. Uh, tell us about that. Um, you know, like you said, the passion of, of basketball here is is crazy, and you know some of those kids out there in, in sandals and uh, you know no shoes and you know out there in the camp playing hard and. Um, you know, that, that's what really touched me the most, just to see that passion and how much they love the game and how much it, the, that little orange basketball connects the world is, is amazing. Now, let's talk about the, the season that you just had. The second half of the season was uh, fantastic for you. When you, guys, when you started against your hometown, San Antonio, uh, you know, it's tough, you have, to, you have to guard Tony Parker. But uh, talk about that, uh, what you had to overcome um, being a reserve to the starter of the Lakers. Um, you know, for me, early in the year, you know, I wasn't playing um, at all, really. And, you know, I did a couple of uh, little stints in the D-League. And, you know, for me, it was just staying strong and, um, you know, continue to try to get better and keep keep continuing to work. I didn't come in a year um, expecting anything, getting um, all rookie first team. Or mm -hmm. None of that is never, never came to my head. But, um, you know, I just – wanted to get better every day and when I got the opportunity I was ready because of that and you know a lot of people go into the league expecting a lot of things but you know I just came in there with an open mind just wanted to play. <laughs> now Mitch Kupchak also said that Mitch and Byron Scott said this that uh, you're kind of like Russell Westbrook I mean that's a great compliment to 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 have but you know bigger guard it attacks the rim uh, talk about I guess how you see yourself as opposed to an MVP candidate like Russell? Um, we have, uh, I guess you can say, kind of similar games. You know, I'm, uh, I'll probably, I'm a little bit bigger than Russell in, in terms of height and stuff, but, you know, that same aggressiveness and, um, you know, I, I try to bring that to the game and, you know, the way he competes. And, you know, I watch him a lot, just um, try to take as many things as I can from him in, in terms of being aggressive and um, being able to attack the basket in the rim. So, um, you know, Russell is, one of the guys I like to watch a lot, so it's a good compliment to hear that. Now I know there's also a very slim chance of this happening, but there is still a chance nonetheless that uh, you can put that Philippine jersey on with the Philippines on the chest and the flag. How much would that mean for you? Uh, you know, it mean a lot. Um, hopefully the opportunity presents itself and, you know, we, uh, we can get that done, but, you know, it definitely mean a lot, you know, being uh, a pioneer. You know, we haven't had somebody in, a, in the league um, mm -hmm in a while, so um, mm -hmm. starting that off and, you know, hopefully, um, you know, get some more guys in the, in the NBA soon. <laughs> now, you have some friends that are playing professional basketball in the Philippines. Uh, Gabe Norwood's one, Chris Ross is another. Uh, talk about your relationship with them and if, they, if they've told you anything about, um, you know, the culture of basketball here in the Philippines. Um, you know, Chris, Chris did a lot um, when we were back home in San Antonio. Um, like I said, he kind of was the first one to kind of put it out there that I was a Filipino and, uh, on Twitter and it kind of yeah. just blew over. It was crazy. And then, uh, you know, I built my relationship uh, with Gabe through Chris. And, um, you know, I was texting him the other day and telling him, man, I, I, didn't wanna, I don't want to leave. But, <laughs> <laughs> but um, you know, they just kind of just told me, you know, come in with an open mind and, yeah. you know, it'll, it'll shock you. You know, he, he said one uh one second you feel uh, like you're king, and then the other second you could, um, you know, be so humbled, and, mm -hmm. and that's a that's just a great feeling to be able to touch so many people that way. All 
All right, and, and obviously you have millions and millions of fans, not just here in the Philippines, but across the globe. Uh, what is your final message to them before you leave uh, the, the country? Uh, you know, I just want to say thank you. I uh, appreciate the support. Um, you know, I'm going to continue to do, try to do great things, and you know, I'm going to keep working hard to represent and put on, man. Thank you for having me. You got 80 million fans every time you shoot that ball, dribble, pass, whatever. You got 80 million fans behind you. Thank you very much. Jordan Clarkson, buddy.